<laughs> Me selling my brain for McDonald's chicken nuggets. Threaten to call Kathy. Tell the truth about Nick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, she's just... <sighs> hey guys, and welcome back to Twin Mirror. So in the last part, we found Dennis dead. Uh, we figured out that Nick was murdered. It wasn't just an accident. And now someone broke into Anna's home. So let's get into it. Okay, so... We're on our way to Anna's home. The last time I was here, what I was shoving way called? too many That's boxes pretty... into a trunk that could A gazebo? It's fine, I Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. With the doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Um, crazy day. I don't want well, to take a side. I mean, uh, this is a real crazy day we're having, huh, Joe? I knew you wouldn't be any help. You always okay. let all over you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dad, oh. I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. So before I head off, Sam, well, obviously your dad would be tell concerned. Me going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. Mm. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Ah, fuck. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. Oh gosh, I'll promise, I'll promise. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you. I mean, isn't she already mixed up on it? They raided her type. house. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry we're concerned it's... about you. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, her father has a right to know. That's your daddy. I need to get in there eventually. Well, maybe I should look around the property first. Yeah, let's look around. Jones Red Baron. It's Bugs. Okay. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Hmm. It was great to come back from work, sit down, and Gazebo, read until I was the right. sun went down. Is that what I said? I hope it is. They're pretty. Anna and I spent our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. Oh. That's cute and sad. So you guys are not together anymore. Beautiful stream. That would be so nice to live by. No traces. Okay. Garden planted within the last year, doing well. Nick has a green thumb. Garden shed looks intact. Okay. Mind palace? Really? I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. Hmm. 
And she still has the sign? That's weird. <laughs> Me selling my brain for McDonald's chicken nuggets. I want everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No! You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if so I don't get in, murdered. you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> We can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. That's cute. Wow, that's uh, something us millennials will never get to feel. Because <laughs> we're all poor and broke. Let's see. So, garden shed. Yeah, so I look at that. I Get a memory. There's got to be something, right? Any broken windows? I like it. He said it was broken in. Nothing looks drastic right now. Oh, let's look at this bench. There's something on this bench. Funeral bouquet. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Oof. Faded a day or so ago. Anna hasn't picked them up. Hmm. Okay, they did break in. You can see it in the door. The broken glass. Let's keep looking. Don't want to miss anything. I used to follow trail. it down to the shack every other week for fishing Sunday. Nick's shack. He has a shack? That seems like a good place to go to investigate, right? Maybe we'll go there later. Okay, I don't think anything else is back here, so... Well, what's this? Just a little bench. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go in. Wait. <laughs> Vehicle tracks. Could be robber, mud and grass make it hard to tell. Okay, let's go inside. Pretty house. There's a beautiful stream next to it and a gazebo, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Bunch of nature, too. Another loading screen. <laughs> I never know what to say during these loading screens. There we go. Anna's house. Ominous music. In her voice. Ooh, she's crying hard. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Jeez, those are flipping tables and shit. Anna? No. Anna, are you... Are you okay? Nope. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Mm -hmm. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. 
but I guess I've heard worse ideas. Okay. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. Does anyone handle trauma by just keeping it all inside? And then when someone asks you if you're okay, you just start crying. <laughs> Cause I do. Let's see. A new perspective. Each year, Greenmount Primary School showcases new talent in an art contest. Amidst a jungle of creativity, one particular piece caught my eye, a sort of cryptid figure that refused to reveal its true nature to me. Unable to pierce the paper, young Timothy Brown had to step in. It's interactive, he said, pointing at a bump. You have to fold it out. One layer after another, the truth revealed itself. The cryptid slowly gave way to a map of basswood. If you think you've seen it all, take a moment to look at what the new generation has to bring. You might be surprised I was. Oh, and this is uh, written by Anna. Dear Miss Miller, my dad says writing thank you letters is what you do when someone is very nice. So I hope you like mine. I would like to thank you very, very much for how you wrote about me. I don't know why you thought my drawing was worth talking about over the others, but it was very nice of you to talk about it. My dad put your article on the fridge and circled my name. I'm kind of scared some people might have gone and seen it and been disappointed, but maybe not. If I ever win another art contest, I will tell you. Sincerely, Timothy Brown. That's sweet. Did I just say Timothy Brown? Timothy Brown. I got this for Anna's journal. birthday after she mentioned wanting Still to travel more. Still waiting to be filled. Oof. Can't travel either, girl. Okay, let's see. Spill ink, not blood. Mind palace. Gonna get a little... Little another memory here. Got the glowing shirt again. There are clothes that actually glow, like uh, the front does. They're just super expensive. Look, he's making an ASMR video. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. Oh, he's ignoring her hard. I am not your mom, you know. Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. That's really weird. Why is he just ignoring her? Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Who just ignored? Who does that? Someone's talking right to your face and <laughs> you're acting like they're not there. The fuck? Okay, so... Oh. Is that us? Yeah. What am I hearing? Grab. Your blinds or something rattling. Oh, that's her and Nick. Oh. Why am I hearing blinds? What is this? Oh, it's just windy? Finally, yeah, there. Yeah, fix that. <laughs> Same, okay. Let's see what else. Taken down after Joe's accident, he wanted it put back. Oh, okay. She didn't want to be reminded that her dad was crippled, I guess. I don't know. So. Making, ooh, pantry. Oh, she hi. normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have Sam changed stuff. around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Nope. Okay. Well, 
You didn't want to go in the pantry. I did, but closet seems searched through. Ah, They're definitely here's where looking she keeps for the drinks. something in particular. We can get her lime juice, a chocolate drink, or whiskey. I'm guessing she's going to want whiskey. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. Well, I could just ignore You're her. You're not helping. Like I did in my mind palace. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Wine bottle emptied onto the floor. Pure Who vandalism? Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? It's a good question. I'm sorry about yesterday. You're right, I have been distant. Things have been pretty messy at work lately. You don't have to forgive me. But if you'd like to invite me to a concert, I'll just leave these two here. Yes, there might be some pepperoni rolls in the fridge, Nick. Okay. Charleston Concert, concert Hall presents the placeholders. Okay. I guess I she wants to go to, to Paris. France, but life is just too strange for me there. What does that mean? Life is too strange for you there. You don't like France? Just go with your girl for a little bit. Like... Okay. Him. What are you waiting That's for? Funny. Bring it to her. Oh, uh, okay. I thought I'd have a nice little chat with myself. You don't have to bully me. Here. Might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and... I don't know. Think... This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just... A lot. I, I used to feel safe here, and now... Sorry, I just... Thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. The options are always sorry, like, listen to them or cut them off. Lost it for a second there. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Ask him. Oh. She needs support. Something solid. Oh, that's fun. We can ask for advice. Uh, I'm here for you. Whatever Let's happens, do that. you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This Why are we our own mess, therapist? But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Uh, I like his inner voice like, more than I like him, fine, to be honest. You know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. He was the bar, on a hot the lead. Fishing shack, come right? home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost her, like I was living maybe. with you all over again. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, but she needs to unbearable. get this off It's like living with you. Ugh. Kind of harsh on her. True, though. I mean, he ignored her right to her face. Uh, I deserve You're that. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. 
The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. Mm. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. <laughs> but you... Your proposal, like it was a terrible thing. You understand thing. why I said no, right? Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. True. I didn't listen didn't to you. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make mm. compromises and all that. I don't think that's it. She's feeling guilty about what happened. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. Uh, it, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant. Especially someone like Nick. He must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if Oof. we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, we're I mean... This together. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm not leaving you alone. You can alone. count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and, well... We'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. I still need to I'm cry, sure so I'm can you get out of here? Crying and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Take I your got time. it right on the nail. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. Journal updated. Can you see? Anna's had a lot to deal with, Nick's death, and then the break-in. We've cleared the air about some things we'd left unsaid before. Now I should go upstairs. Establish how bad the damage is. Okay. They're obviously looking for, like, probably, pr like, that proof that Nick might have had of whatever he was searching for. Jones' classic pterodactyl. Pose? Oh, okay. I couldn't look at it very well. Oh! Joe's first birthday I after the accident. This photo. Oh, seeing it like this. After the accident. Not what Anna needed. Why did he smash the photo? I guess he bumped into it? I don't know, but that's weird. Isn't it? The door is closed. She never used to lock it. Don't like that. Mm, I don't feel right about that door being closed. Okay, let's look at the bathroom, I guess. What is this? Oh, it's a laundry basket. I thought that was a kennel. Let's see. Oh, it's watch like your back. Wasn't bad enough already. In lipstick? I should erase it. You think? But then the police wouldn't get the oh. burglar's handwriting. Yeah, they used uh, her lipstick. Twin toothbrush. Nick was very moved in. Well, yeah, they did love each other. Why is it so dark in here? Is it? Because I see light coming in through the windows. It doesn't 
seem that dark. Search cupboard. Anna's stuff is still here. Yeah, they didn't really take very much, did they? They just kind of fucked shit up. Like they were looking for something. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Mm. Oh, what is that? Transfer. Huh? Really? Someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? They didn't destroy the laptop, though? What a dumb burglar. Why wouldn't they? Because then it would- <gasps> Then it would be gone. Who is behind us? Uh, ah! Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought he might still be there. What happened? Sam! Sam! Who was that? Sam! Are you okay? No, we just got smashed the fuck up. I think up. whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Wow, so calm. Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house. And I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. Hmm. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Backup we files. We need Nick's backups. If he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here in the basswood jungle he kept things? No. The shack? No, right? I, don't, I don't think so. I. That's what I, I would think. Actually, over the last few months, Remember I mentioned Nick has been like going out shack. a lot to that old mm -hmm. fishing shack his family owns. I know the That's one. That's what I thought. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Jesus. Your father called. Said there'd been a break in? I was just wondering why didn't they call Couldn't the police? They have gotten here two minutes ago? Oh, I They'll guess they did. They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, oh, I'll go fuck. to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Go. Jesus, okay. We gotta go to the fishing shack now. I wonder what that looks like. Loading. We love a loading screen. <laughs> it really has a lot of loading screens, doesn't it? I mean, I guess it's, uh, it's kind of mostly a cutscene game. It's really just, uh, watching a story. And changing that story depending on your actions. Nick's, Nick's fishing, fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? You know, just top secret fishing shack stuff. There's a bike here. Oh, okay. It's uh. Joan rides this bike everywhere. Bikes. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. I don't know why I thought it was snakes. It's What's tiny. It doing here? <laughs> Let's see, anything else around? A oh, little fireplace. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Oh my god, I love roasted marshmallows. Mine palace? Okay, let's do it. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, Is patience, it? and perseverance hooks you the big one. 
Dad, not everything is a life lesson. Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. Why are they called Muley? Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, rooms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Oh, I would do that. You hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. I would um, play with the worms. I, I, uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! <laughs> don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Okay. It's not the point of fishing. Alright. It's lit- okay. <laughs> oh. Alright, Nick. So, let's see. I think we can go to the shack now. Oh, it's- it's cute. Oh jeez, I was gonna look around it, but... Bug? Cutscene just started. Muley? Oh. How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know About what? what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What the fuck? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how young. far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. Um? You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Yeah, and look Careful, at how Sam. Fucking... This is not a drill. Look at how well that worked out for Maybe me. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. You should at least Tell call your mom. mom. My mom? She's hardly even there. She's always so... Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. Damn mother, it. Though, I wanted to do the other have one, a talk but... with her later. Okay. Look, I shouldn't always I'm not a to child him. anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. You are a child, actually. <laughs> but okay. Uh, don't make the mistake I made. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I. It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time and then she's too out of it and never listens to me i think i'm done depending on others you're going to your aunt you're just going to be depending on someone my dad else. i could rely on ah, but he's geez. gone there's nothing else for me around here i was wrong yesterday she's not in denial she's scared Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. Trust me, I'm investigating. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. <laughs> yeah, I know about the wake. You approached a few people, but you dropped it as soon as it got uncomfortable. Anyway, it's not like I expected okay. anything. Okay. Jesus this place Christ. Is full of gutless patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? Something with insects? You like insects? I How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs? You remember? Yeah, 
bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't mm -hmm. be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. You're just telling me what I want uh, to hear. Fuck. Or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth. Uh, for once, up? from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Uh... Sam, we have to do something. Yeah, we do. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about next death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking oh, for the fuck. people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. I don't know. Threaten to call Kathy. Tell the truth about Nick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, she's just... She's just a tiny, though. I could tell the truth or I could threaten to call Kathy. Um... I'll tell the truth. But is that bad? Because she's... I'll tell the truth. You were right, Bug. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. Oh. Okay, that seemed like the right choice. I don't know if that was a good idea. Well, it worked. Me neither. But hey, it worked. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Mm. Oh, so Joan cute. always liked bugs. Oh, that's why she's called. Okay, I get it. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. I'd never connected that she was called Bug because she likes bugs. Jesus. We used to talk about me. how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? Hmm. That is weird. He always okay. kept his favorite rod in this special ready to go bag to protect it. Why are we called Muley? That's what I want to know. John stuff. What Bug never was behind? the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Yeah. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Mm. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Okay, we need to find the key for that. Somewhere out of reach. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. Okay. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Hmm. Okay, outside then. It looks foggy. When did it get that foggy? Some Silent Hill stuff going on. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Mm -hmm. Now, this fish record man. is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. 
Oh, okay. Oh, you stretch a fish. Sit. Okay. So I can brood and be sad? Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, hmm. they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. And my conscience walked away. Okay, well, we need to find the key, buddy. So let's get out of your own head and let's find the key so we can uh, snoop through Nick's stuff. Oh my god. Worming wood. Nick was really distracted. He usually fixed everything. Worm eaten wood. Why? Okay, let me see. Oh, there's more hiding spots. Looks like this is it, because none of the other ones gave us a cutscene. Right? Oh, so delicately placed. Okay, we found it. That's good. <laughs> what a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Oh my god. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. I guess he but did never find. at home and always locked up. Mm. Let's see, like circles. Remember, caterpillar, yellow up, blue left, red right, green bottom. What does that mean? Do we need that? Drugs. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Mm. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. College flyer. Journal article. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Anna Miller. Okay. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid-twenties and heavily tattooed, about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On, second, on his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, but was instead beaten, beaten nearly to death by his father. It's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed the money. And I felt so bad that I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whooped my ass, beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I need a whooping. I still need a whooping. Lynette Branham, 52 with graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the one that owns the land and sets the rules. She's judge, jur jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. And that. This place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work, and some of them had no place to go. Drugs and crime made them fall into the patterns desperate people often fall into, and Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. She let them stay as long as they follow two rules, no stealing and no fighting. Though she's had to kick a lot of people out over the years, it's not always permanent. In fact, she just let one of them back in. He does not want to be named, but has a lot in common with Tyler. A bad relationship with his family, a mother with her own drug abuse issues, and a history of violent offenses. This young man explained to me why he came back. I can't make it out there. Everyone's hassling me, and I'm trying not to hassle myself. 
He has trouble staying still and looks ready to keel over at any moment, yet he's also got a depth to him that's striking. Was sober for half a year once. Can't remember the first time I drank. Broke into Ma's liquor cabinet when I was five. Some people see this place and imagine the same old story of hillbillies in the mountains, yet that isn't what this place is. This is a community. They're all drifters lost in the flow of life with nowhere else to go and a desire to be better. Lynette shakes her head as he finishes up. She'll let me stay, he says. I ask him how he knows. She'd have come over and told me to get out right then, he answers. It's true. Lynette lets him stay as long as he promises to try again. She has a lot of patience. You have to, she tells me after the young man goes to lie down. Everyone has their own way of dealing with pain. The path to mistakes comes in a lot of forms, some of them pretty invisible unless you look for it. We all stumble sometimes. Most people take a few tries to get back up after being knocked down. If someone isn't there to help them, they just fall back over. The Cove gives me hope. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Okay. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? These bullets. Let's look at the calendar. Read. D wants to meet. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Okay. All right. I think I went through everything here. If you say so, I really want to know what this means. Okay, so it goes yellow, green, blue, red. Yellow, green, blue, red. Caterpillar. Yellow, green, blue, red. I feel like we're going to have to know that, right? Yellow, green, blue, red. Oh, we're keeping it. Okay, that's good. We're inspecting now, huh? It won't let me really do anything. Okay, if D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Okay. I mean, we're already in, we already read all this. So why are we... If Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll look at all of them again. Okay. What am I doing? Search the shack. Okay. Well, I already did. Mm. Man, bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. was here recently, it says. Mm. I did search the shack, though. Maybe I should go this way to where the worm rod is. Maybe there's something on this side. No. Okay. I guess we're missing something. Um... I wonder if I can search this. Oh no. Oh, I feel a sneeze. Thank you! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm always sneezing. Hmm. What am I missing? I inspected this stuff. Uh, it's telling 
need to inspect this, but like I, I already did. Maybe I should read this again. I don't know. I mean, just, just the button, because I already read it. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. He highlighted some Seems parts. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Okay. I mean, what do you want me to do? If Dee met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. It's saying to inspect the shack, but like, I did. Maybe we'll look outside, I don't know. Hmm. Can we leave? No. <laughs> I don't know where else they want me to look. I already looked at everything. A glitch. I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Yeah, Hers turned out great. This. Mine were always burnt. Hmm. I'm missing something. There's nothing out there, really. And there's not really anything out here outside of the shack either. Hmm. I guess we'll look back in the cabinet, maybe. Hmm. I already looked at the weapons. I looked at the files or the flyers. There's nothing else. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. What am I missing? What am I missing? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Mm. Guys, I don't know what I'm missing. I looked at that. This says cleaned recently. I can't make an observation or anything. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can, I can inspect the fishing bag now? Okay, that would have been nice what to know. In this bag that's so important you had it locked up. It wasn't locked up, it was right there. What do you mean? the fishing bag oh okay that's why oh oh up down left right I don't know what is this wrong combination knowing Nick maybe he left a hint lying around the shack yeah it's this red is to the right well that looks red doesn't it why is there five, though? There wasn't just four buttons. Um, let's just keep going right, I guess. Doesn't work. <laughs> there must be something I'm missing. What do you mean? It says, remember Caterpillar. But which way do we do first? I guess if it, I guess we start with red, maybe? So I think right, down, left, up, right, maybe? Right, down, left, up, right? Right, down, left, up, right. Right, down, left, up, right. No, that wasn't it. <sighs> First of all, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. 
What do we start with? And why does it say caterpillar? What do you mean caterpillar? I guess we'll just go around. Up, right, down, left, up. Only a few more hundred combinations to go. Down, left, up, right, down. Well, I doubt I'm just gonna guess it. But... Maybe it's... maybe it's the other way. Maybe it is... well, let's look I at just it. just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Right, up, left, down, right? Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. I mean, it's pretty obviously that. This looks highlighted, but I don't, it doesn't show me like the highlights. I can't zoom in. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's mm. kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. That's not going to tell me anything. If D uh. met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. I don't know how to decipher this. Maybe I need to look at a pattern somewhere. Hmm. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end it there. Sorry I didn't solve this puzzle. Uh, but I'll figure it out next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the next one.